So it just occurred to me, one of the main things about the Catholic Mass that is mistaken about the teachings of Jesus, and I think it's had the opposite effect of its, pur its meaning, its purpose. So in, I think it's the, the Nicene Creed, maybe, the prayer says, um, you know, what we believe in, and it says we believe, um, you know, one God, Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that's seen and unseen. He will, the part that I think is mistaken is, um, he will come again to judge the living and the dead, uh, and his kingdom will have no end. Well, the judge part is the part that's the mistake. Um, because when we judge others, or when we feel judged, we cannot heal. We can, won't feel, we don't, you don't feel loved when you feel judged. It's only when someone sees who you truly are, your core, your perfection, the spark of the divine, uh, that you feel loved. Regardless of all the actions that you've taken that maybe you wish you hadn't. Um, it's when uh, whoever is with you can look beyond that or does see beyond that and sees only your perfection that you feel healed. So I think that's one of the main ways to for us to heal ourselves is to stop judging ourselves. Um, I think a lot of times we have our own thoughts are our worst enemy. They make us crazy with judgment and focus on our mistakes or the things we don't like about what we do. Um, but we can change that. Uh, first, uh, treat yourself as, as you know, you would treat anybody else. You wouldn't, you know other people, you know them to be the spark of the divine, but that's true of you as well. Um, it's this pretty view. So pretty. Really beautiful. Um, so if you're trying to stop doing things that you wish you wouldn't do, say you're addicted to doing something, uh, it's an issue of the mind, which is a tool. The mind is not you. It's a tool for you to use. So you don't need to identify with those thoughts and the mind, you need to learn how to use the tools, the thoughts and the mind to feel better and to live your life the way you want instead of being trapped in a cycle of, you know, addiction, addiction to thoughts, behaviors, substances, whatever it is. Um, the reason that we have we become addicted is because of the nature of the mind. Um, it's a tool that we can use for to do good, but also it's not it's not a perfect tool um, because it's almost it's almost like a tape recorder uh, where you whatever you put in you get back out. So we have to be careful what we put into our mind thoughts that we put into our mind if something doesn't if you feel bad after having done something having acted on a thought um, then you know that that's not the right thing um, and that's something that you can change you absolutely have the power to change the thoughts and the behaviors that come from the thoughts um, number one is by redirecting your focus um, so if you begin to have thoughts and they're nudging you to do something that you know you'll feel bad after you've done it focus on something else and just continue doing that and at first it's really hard it's just like exercising your body at first it's really hard and you want to stop you want to give up um, but it's worth it obviously um, so I think that's the message for today. I hope it's useful. Uh, leave a comment if it resonates or if it doesn't. Um, another thing I wanted to mention about addiction is that, um, 
Now, the reason we become addicted to certain things is because um, we're wanting to change the way we feel. And um, we are, we're identifying with the way that we feel. But feelings can be changed, again, just by redirecting your focus and continually redirecting your focus. Even if you just do something physically different, like for example, say you're sitting in a chair, even if you just get up from that chair and go up the stairs or down the stairs or walk around your house or your apartment or whatever it is, just change something about the situation where you're having these feelings that you don't like. So that is the message for today. Leave a comment. Uh, does it resonate with you? Does it not? Do you have any other questions? Um, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.